Hello everybody, Salty Sweet Ren here, and welcome back to more of The Sims 4 Windy Legacy Challenge Expanded, and dude, dude, you left, their, your, you left your hot dogs, or whatever they are. Anyways, the last time we were doing this challenge, uh, we got a new cat named Melody, and okay, you're just gonna put it there, that's fine. Uh, we got a new cat named Melody. And uh, behind the scenes, I did peek a little bit at Kensuke's lifespan. This little Melody, actually. Oh, right there, that's actually adorable. Melody's great. Um, last time we did this challenge, we got our new cat, Melody, who's actually a little kitten here. Melody's super, super adorable. Like, just, just look at this little bean. I just love this little bean. Um, we got- we got Melody because Kensuke was actually a cat lover and it was one of his- it was one of his wishes before he died. He only has a little bit longer. I've actually taken a little sneak peek in MCCC and he only has three days left to live. I- I thought- I actually thought that, um, he had shorter, which is why, like, last episode I was so sure he was gonna die at some point, but, uh, no, he is- he is still going to be around for another three days, so that, at least, is good. Um, the thing is that Sakura actually becomes a teenager in four days, so I don't know if his three days is going to last through her birthday. If it does, that would be awesome, but at the same time, I don't know what's worse. If he dies the day before her birthday and never gets to see her age up, or if he dies on her birthday, which would be kind of a traumatic experience for little Sakura. Either way, um, he's not gonna get to see most of her teen years. It's it's gonna be pretty sad. Either way, I'm gonna I'm really gonna miss Kensuke. But uh, meanwhile, at this point, it's actually looking a, a lot more likely that Rowan might wind up becoming the heir. Like, she's, she's very much got the traits for being the heir in our next generation. She very much has the attitude. She very much has... Like, she has the attitude when it comes to school. She has the traits already in the, in the making. She is very much the most likely, I think, to become the heir. But at the same time, Sakura... I'm actually really curious what Sakura would be like as the heir. Because, like, she might have, like, this kind of cool attitude to her. But at the same time, I very much feel like she's got a lot of motivation that it would take to become the heir. I don't know. It would just be something really cool. I, di I, didn't, I didn't, like, come up with her, like, intending to be the heir, to be honest. When I, like, designed her outfit and figured out her hairstyle and stuff, I was very much hoping that Rowan would. But Rowan, it's looking like, very much might be. Another thing that kind of occurred to me is the fact that it's going to take a while for Cassidy to become an elder. And even though, technically speaking, the rules for the expanded legacy do say that you need for you need the current heir to become an elder before we move on to the next generation, uh, the thing is that Rowan will be uh, a young adult for a while, while Cassidy, before Cassidy becomes an elder. So I kind of think it'd be a little bit better if, um, like, just in case Rowan be does wind up being the heir, if we switch the day of inheritance to the day that Rowan becomes a young adult. That way, if Rowan's the heir, we can actually spend more time with her, doing all of, her doing all of the Generation 2 goals and stuff. But even if it does turn out to be Sakura, uh, we, can, we can work on some of her goals to, um, we can work on some of her goals during her teenage years, and uh, she's emotionally balanced! She is, uh, uh, come adulthood, she'll be less likely to get swept up in life's turbulent waves. That is awesome. Yeah, I do feel like she'd be very good as the next generation heir if it was her. Either way, I'm, I'm gonna be changing the day of inheritance from the day Cassidy becomes an elder to the day that Rowan becomes a young adult, and it, like, it'll, if it is Sakura, we'll still, like, apply all this stuff to Sakura. But still. The thing is that the next generation does have a focus on doing certain goals as an elder, so don't worry. Uh, we do have a generation ahead that does last through elderhood. So, 
Uh, there, there might also be more generations that focus on elders as well. I just know that this next one is kind of an important one for elders. And the kids are off to school already, so I think I'm gonna have Cassidy. Uh, why don't you go ahead and just start selling everything in the garden? Go ahead, super sell everything. It might be the middle of winter and you can't quite see everything that's going on in the garden. But still, I am still going to focus on what Kensuke wants to do. Uh, Kensuke does want to fish for compliments and make something of excellent quality because he's a perfectionist. Uh-oh. What's happening? Lunch of sadness! Some other kid threatened Sakura and took her lunch money. She has been crying in the office. Oh dear. Uh, give her a hug for me. It'll be okay. I feel like that's what he would say. Give, give her a hug for me. It'll be okay. Honor roll bully? Now that Sakura is on the honor roll, she may as well have a sign on her back that says, Kick me! Oh wait, she does! Should she tell the teacher or try to find the culprit on her own? I feel like she's the type who would try to, like, do that on her own. Like, she'd try and hunt down the culprit. But she's also very nice. She's also a very sweet sim, so she might just tell the teacher instead. Or if she does find the culprit, maybe she'll just be, like, a lot more gentle than she thinks the teacher would be. Like, she'd just try and, like, ask them not to. Which probably wouldn't work, to be fair, but... Let, let, I feel like she'd just try and find the culprit on her own. The great thing about stupid people is they never cover their tracks. Spying red marker all over her harasser's hands, Sakura peels off the sign and gives a bully a friendly pat, transferring the sign and the torment. Ooh, that's actually a lot more mischievous than I thought she would wind up being, but... But yeah, you should, you should probably fix this so that your husband can actually take a shower. Oh, Lilith Vator. Uh, think about that yourself. I, I, I don't honestly care who you have a crush on. It says he's are going to mop something, but there's nothing to mop over. It Oh, there's a- the puddle somehow got outside. I don't know how this happened, but... The puddle transferred to the outdoors through the wall. Maybe the- maybe the- because of the drain, it's just like leaking through the floor, actually, now that I think about that. That actually makes sense. Because we are a little bit elevated off the ground. Oh my gosh, you're just obsessively trying to play with the kitten. Little Melody. Melody's barely even paying attention to the wand. Oh, are you paying attention now? <gasps> there we go! Look at that! Melody is truly adorable. I really can't wait to see what Melody looks like as an adult. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have the next heir take Melody with them. Whether it's Sakura or Rowan, they're gonna take Melody with them and probably keep a cat all throughout their kids' lives as well. I don't think we're gonna have every generation keep a pet, but many of them I think will. Just cause look at- look how cute little- look how cute little Melody is. Pets are- pets are great. Okay, I'm gonna have Kensuke fish for compliments right now. Because he does want to. Oh, there we go. And they're just gonna have like a nice little conversation. You wanna walk Starlight Boulevard? We're not gonna do that. Search for vampire information on a computer? I... Wait, from what? From not being a vampire. I don't think we're ever gonna become a vampire. Oh, Rowan's home! Hey, Rowan! And she is a high school A student once again. Wolfgang Munch. Uh, I, I forgot that Cassidy was in a club, actually. Oh dear. Uh, perhaps we, should, we haven't gathered in a while. Perhaps we should all meet? We're meeting at Bath to Rill. Grab your swimsuit and join us at the pool. Uh, no thank you. It's too cold to go to the pool. The only thing that that club ever does is sabotage the toilets for, like, hours on end, so... The relationship between Kensuke and Cassidy is the most adorable thing. <gasps> Are you serenading her? Oh, that is adorable. How did how did Ron acquire the cooking skill? You're just sitting here. I don't know, but either way, Sakura is home. That's great. I do wonder what Sakura is going to wind up being like as a teen. Oh, you want to chat with Kensuke? You know, go go chat with Kensuke. He's not going to be around forever, so go ch go chat with your dad. I don't know- I don't remember what happened that you might have to apologize for, but go ahead and do that. Go ahead and tell a make-believe story. Just go spend, go spend time with your dad. Meanwhile, Rowan's just got a good book to read. 
Yeah, look at her, getting her homework done on her own. She's practicing squaring circles. Getting that mental skill up, I believe. Yeah! Look at her, she's doing great. Meanwhile, for whatever reason, Rowan is feeling very flirty because she got a compliment from a cute classmate. Pretty good day. The funny thing is that she's also aromantic. Or, no, she's asexual, not necessarily aromantic. Never mind. That actually makes sense. She is asexual, but not aromantic. I thought I thought it was the other way around. So maybe maybe she is, like, there is a cute classmate, but she's, but it's, like, more, like, an emotional thing? I don't know. What classmate could it be, actually? Do, can I actually see your classmates? I actually don't know. I'm sure whoever the teen is, you'll get along with them. Sakura is done with her homework. Awesome. Okay, Cassidy, you need to stop doing yoga. Your husband does want to hang out with you. You want to share ideas from being a genius? Go go chat with go chat with Kensuke. You want to make a snow pal? Awesome. Why don't you why don't you and Kensuke go outside and make a snow pal like out here? Okay, you want to sleep? Okay, yeah, you, you can sleep. You want to scoff at Cassidy's mood from being insensitive. Okay. You might not wind up being the heir anyway. Because you keep on wanting to sabotage your own relationship with Cassidy. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just have you build a snow pal on your own. That sounds like a good idea. Just go ahead and build a snow pal on your own. While on their way home, Sakura saw her sibling was talking with another person, and it was a very, very heated talk. Not in a friendly way. Sakura had to ask the sibling immediately who was the person. Could it be a secret relationship? Oh? Don't try to brush me off from asking about the mysterious person. I know this person is anything but nobody. Are you dating? Tell me, tell me, tell me! You little... When did you see... I couldn't read the whole thing. When did you see me? Who was with... Who was with me is none of your business. Go do your homework. Oh my gosh. I I don't know which mod it is that's adding these sibling interactions, but that is adorable. Oh, and you're already going to bed. Hey, Rowan, can I spend some time with you? I thought that you guys hated each other. Yeah, why would we want to spend time? You guys hate each other. It's actually kind of hilarious, but okay. There's a random person at our house. Emlyn Caliente. Why is Emlyn Caliente here? I don't know. Oh, you two are immediately off to go flirt. Wait, where is Cassidy? There she is. Let's see, you do want to embrace her, so let's go ahead and just embrace her. There we go. Oh, dear. Again! You want to try for baby with Kensuke? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's an elder! He'll die! Oh my gosh. This is delicious from your suggestive conversation. Oh my gosh. The thing is that I did update the uh, the mod that's supposed to like determine whether or not Sims, like what their relationship wellness is and stuff. It, it's been changed from the woohoo and wellness mod to the relationship wellness. I think it, I think so. And it did uh bec because of that it she's no longer infertile because of, it was been updated, but she's still. She does not want a pregnancy right now. It says she wants to try for a baby, but she does not want a pregnancy right now. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and cancel the win because I'm gonna listen to her not wanting a pregnancy right now. That makes more sense to me. If they wind up doing it on their own, I'm not gonna stop them. That's what I'll say. I'm not gonna stop them if they wind up trying for a kid on their own. Or woohooing on their own. Vlad, why are you here? I saw you for a second when the door opened. Why? Why are you here? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, little Melody decided to come and say hi to Vlad, and Vlad left. Okay. I'm just glad Vlad's gone, to be honest. I just realized that Rowan, I don't think, has done her homework. No, she hasn't. Uh, you know what? Okay, yeah, actually, go to, go to bed first. Oh, Sakura is awake. Hello, Sakura. Also, if, I, if I'm missing, like, what my sims are, like, thinking or wanting to do, it's because Axel is, like, standing with his face blocking that corner of my screen. So, hi, kitty. Okay, it's another day. Sakura ages up in three days. Kensuke dies in two. Wait, are you about to do your extra credit? Oh, good for you! Good for you, Sakura. She's a very responsible kid, honestly. She She's always, like, on top of doing her extra credit work. I didn't think she was going to be, but you know what? She's actually very good at what she does. Oh? Oh, today's the neighborhood brawl. I forgot that that's a thing. 
At some point I should probably replace that with like a new holiday or something. I don't know. I have gone ahead and added some new holidays to my game, so that's a thing. Okay, Sakura's done with her extra credit. That's good. Okay, Rowan is finally doing her homework. What are you working on? English paper. Okay. You've acquired the writing skill. Oh, Kensuke's helping Rowan with her homework. That is actually so sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how, sh look how short that is. Oh my gosh. We're gonna lose him. This is your favorite holiday. I mean, it's a neighborhood brawl. I can just beat you up. Sure, you want to spread some holiday cheer? Let's let's do the neighborhood brawl. Let's go beat her up. Actually, come to think of it, she's gonna be stuck out there if we don't invite her in. Look, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm a jerk, but you know, Rowan is unflirty. Unflirty Sims get uh, tense around flirty Sims and seldom get flirty themselves. You know, she's she's feeling very uncomfortable about the fact that these guys are being super flirty in front of her. You know what? That's very fair. It is an awkward encounter now. Oh wait, wait, do you have a key to our house or something? How, how'd you get in? Well, Rowan's done with her homework at least, but... How, how the heck did you get into our house? Fair least, if she's outside, we don't have to worry about dealing with her. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, how'd you get into our house? Second of all, you want to, you want to spread some neighborhood cheer? Let's spread some neighborhood cheer. You know what we're gonna do? Apparently we can't fight. We'll be under friendly because of what today is. Or maybe we just can't because Rowan is a teenager or something. I don't know. We can instigate her. Rowan's always kind of been a bit of a jerk. Let's be real. Why don't you fight her, actually? Why not? I'm gonna see you fight her. Oh, this match might go poorly because you're old. Oh, wait. You ignore this tradition because you're an elder. Wait. Cancel, 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 cancel. Cassidy, uh, you come do it. You come, you come fight Jade. Because your husband can't do it. There we go. There we go. Okay, you know what? Actually, why don't you come do a snow pal? We can do a snow pal now. Can, how, can I do it with, like, certain members of our household? Oh, I can only do it with one. No, sure. Come do it with Kensuke. That would be adorable. Is Rowan singing? I have no idea. Oh, that's that's actually a very cute little snow pal. It's not as nice as the one over there, but you know what? They made it anyway. Who is this? Megumi Ito, you're not gonna talk to us anyways. Why would you why would you even try? Do you do you actually know any of us? No? Why are you at our house? You're a B-lister. We wouldn't be able to invite you in if we tried. When is to a bully? Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends, and I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? We could step up and stand up for your friend, stay out of it and tr console your friend afterwards, or get an adult. I think she would want to step in and stand up for her friend. At the very least, I'm kind of doing it it's like according to what I feel like these individual sims would do. Oh, Kensuke's f mastered cooking! <gasps> Just before the end of his life, too. Aww. Okay, you wanna you wanna ask Kensuke about his day? We're 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 gonna be making some time for Kensuke. We're all we're all gonna be like super friendly. You in a cloud gaze, but it's too it's too not good out there. Oh, Kensuke and Kensuke and Sakura have a sentiment. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm laughing at you. Always laughing. Want me to stop? I don't even know who you are. Yes, please stop laughing. Who who are you? Rowan decided to come outside in like the bitterly freezing cold to do extra credit work. You know what? Good for her. Good for her. She is she is also a very responsible sim. Oh my gosh, were you were you trying to do Somebody was making a de-stressing decoction. Oh my gosh. Why does why does everybody want to do that? Is there a way for you to disable Sims trying to make the distressing decoctions? It is the most annoying thing, in my opinion. Kensuke Hirayama's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to- Kensuke! Oh my gosh, you want, you want to embrace Cassidy again. Yes, you, yes, you can embrace Cassidy again. She does not have much longer. Come embrace your wife. 
I know Rowan's out here and she doesn't really like seeing those like really fluffy shows of affection. But come on. This is your wife. Apparently being under here prevents Sims from like feeling super freezing cold. So that's good. Oh, Sakura is coming out here too. You want to be friendly with Ka with Kensuke? Yes, yes, go ahead and be friendly. Wait, what's going on? Be propositioned! I- I said I wasn't gonna stop it if they did this autonomously! But, dude, Kensuke! You are on your last day! If you woohoo at your age, you could die. I- I said I wasn't gonna stop it if it happened, but oh my gosh, I- This makes me scared? Like, I'm- I'm happy for you guys, but scared at the same time? Okay, I guess this is happening. Look, it's his last day anyway. This is his last day. It doesn't really matter. It kind of matters, but at the same time, it's like... I could have stopped this and I didn't, so I feel partially responsible. But at the same time, it is their last day. You're not gonna- you're not gonna kill over dead, are you? Okay, no, you're not. You don't necessarily want a pregnancy right now, but I don't think protection was used, was it? Didn't see- I didn't see anything about protection being used, so I don't think it was. Though he does have a con- he does have, uh, those, so... Ooh, I should have her take a pregnancy test, just in case. Because she's an adult and not a young adult, I think that there's a pretty low chance of her getting pregnant, so... I'm pretty sure it's pretty low, because he's an elder and she's a young adult, so I think it's pretty low. I don't think she's gonna wind up pregnant. Yep, she's not pregnant. Okay. Sakura's awake. Her dad's not gonna get to see you turn into a teenager. That- that sucks. You have two days until you become a teenager and your dad's going to die before that happens. School is stupid. School is stupid! Should I- I should ju just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Okay, I don't, I, Rowan, Rowan sometimes just kind of flip-flops between I think she's gonna be perfect for next generation and sometimes there's stuff like this. Like, I don't want to focus on school. Society requires school for success or school and te teaches important things. School does teach important things. Cassidy advises Rowan. You want to volunteer with family? I mean, we could do that. You no, know yeah, let's go ahead and volunteer with family. I've never really done that before. And let's volunteer at, um... Let's volunteer at the soup kitchen. Why not? The soup kitchen chef asked Sakura to taste test the soup. It is incredibly salty and just plain gross. Should Sakura tell the truth or and risk offending the chef? Or lie and risk offending the patrons? I think she should tell the truth, because it's kind of important to make sure that the stuff is good for the patrons at the soup kitchen. Like, it's one thing to, like, make- like, if the management isn't really making sure that this stuff is good for the patrons, then that's kind of man management's fault. Especially when this is, like, a charity type of thing. And he did ask for, uh, the, the, the chef did ask for, uh, Sakura to taste test, so I think she'll be like, yeah, I think there's a little too much salt here. Oh! Sa Sakura wins to gain some conflict resolution for giving the chef honest feedback. Sakura was able to balance giving an honest response without hurting the chef's feelings. The chef compliments Sakura on catching the mistake and makes her honorary sous chef for the day. Good for you! Oh, they're all home. Rowan has been successfully imbued with a modest sense of empathy. Looks like her days of mocking others' bad moods are over. You know what? That's good for you. That was definitely something you were struggling with. I'm just expecting Kensuke to die at any second. I'm just- I'm worried, but at the same time, this has been coming for a while. Oh, Kensuke just became good friends with Melody. Oh. Everything that happens with Kensuke now is just making me sad. Everything that happens. But you know what? You're Master Chef. It's your last day. Why don't you make, like, one last meal for the entire family? Why don't you go ahead and make a roast chicken? For the entire family to enjoy. Oh, I saw Sakura had the lesbian flag above her head. Maybe maybe she's into girls? Is that what's going on? 
She might just be like questioning stuff still. She's still questioning, but maybe that's what she's leaning towards. Okay, you do want to cloud gaze with Kensuke. So once Kensuke's done, you're not going to be able to spend time with your dad as a teenager. So once this is over, once he's done making the chicken, I want you to spend some time with him outside. Go, like, I want you guys to cloud gaze together. Just you two spend some time together, because you're not going to get to. Go ahead and brighten his day. Give him a heartfelt compliment. And then I want you guys to go and cloud gaze. Is that, like, ask to cloud gaze, or is it just cloud gaze? Ask to cloud gaze. Yeah, let's go do that. Well, out they go. I'm keeping an eye on Kensuke still. Oh my gosh, look at them. These two are gonna miss out on the huge chunk of like, time together. I... This is this is actually my first time I've played the family long enough for like one of the parents to become an elder. I've I like I've had this nasty habit of starting challenges and not finishing them. But I'm so attached to this family and I so so love them so much. I'm I am genuinely emotional about this. We're just kind of like lying in the middle of the sidewalk. Everybody's kind of got to go past us. That's that's fine. Okay, yeah, go, go embrace your wife. Wait, you guys are off to go and woohoo again? You're woohooing again? Guys. Guys. Rowan is in the room. And Rowan's out of the room. Okay. I mean, he, he literally doesn't have, like, very much longer. Like, this- he is going to die today. This- if this is how he goes out, I mean... If this is how he goes out, this is how he goes out. Complain about strenuous activity. Could this be it? Wait, could this be it? He's complaining about strenuous activity. Okay, never mind. But dangerously tired from strenuous activity. Continuous strenuous activity could be fatal right now. We can't let him do anything else strenuous for a little while. Okay. You can reprimand public intimacy, at least. Like, dude, why'd you have to do that when I was in the room? Like, I feel like- I feel like she would do that. <laughs> like, come on, I was in the room! Like, why'd you have to do that? Where's rep reprimand? Okay, I don't think that you can actually do that for some reason. <gasps> oh my gosh! Elderly demise! <gasps> oh my gosh! It's happening! No! Where are you going? You gotta find the right spot to die. Is that Kensuke? Oh my gosh, is everybody inside for this? Nobody's nobody's seen this yet. Guys, guys, stop chatting, guys, stop chatting. Oh my gosh. Witness death. I don't think that you've quite witnessed it yet. There we go. Now you're witnessing the death. Can we plead? I don't- Can we plead? I don't think it's gonna work, but... Will this work? I don't think it will because he's an elder, but like if we can at least have him live through Sakura's birthday. Come on. Oh no. This is it. Kensuke's gone. Wait, where where are you going? You can't reap because you hate that. For, you hate the wall. Okay, dude. Please just come over here and you can't do anything. And the Grim Reaper's just standing there. Okay, now now he's coming. Okay. There we go. That's it. And you're still hysterical. Jade, we don't have time. I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Maybe getting breakfast tomorrow would cheer you up a bit. I'd rather be alone, honestly. I, I'm i gonna put Kensuke's urn in her inventory. Yeah, go, go ahead and cry in bed for a little bit. Go ahead and cry it out. This is miserable. Sakura's crying it out too. I heard it was someone's birthday today. Brought a, brought a cool gift. Just your timing, 
Miki. Sure, we'll invite you in. And we'll inform you about what happened. The Grim Reaper is still here? Are you reading our books? Is that what's going on? Oh, now it's hit you that something bad has happened. Now it's hit you, okay. We can console her about death. Wait, did you know Kensuke? Sad. Tell a sad story. We'll tell about how he died. I think that there's like a memories thing. Sakura's memories. Cry about missing death. No one should have to experience watching someone they care about pass away. I'm sorry you had to see that. You're Miki. I'm Sakura. I'm here for you. Okay. Did, did you care about somebody that died too? I think that's what's going on too. We can console her about the death. Maybe she maybe she knew Kensuke too. Oh, and that's broke down. Okay, uh can you not You can repair that. Okay, everybody is going to sleep, so I think I'm gonna send uh Rowan to also go to sleep. Oh we also another person died. Hi Cassie, I'm calling but you know that your close friend Ania Patterson has passed away. Everyone's dying. I don't even remember Ania, but... Oh my gosh. Oh, wait a second! Wait a second! Oh my gosh! Is Melody aging up too? Melody! Oh my gosh, Melody's growing up! <gasps> Melody! Melody aged up from a kitten to into an adult cat. She will now climb stairs as well as hopping onto and resting on higher flat surfaces. She can also mate with other cats if she isn't spayed. Hooray for Melody! Oh, look at her! Oh, that is a pretty cat. Oh, look at her! She is so pretty. Kensuke never got to see this. Kensuke never got to see Melody grow up. Oh my gosh. But at least uh, we now have Melody to be as a sort of... thing we can use to remember Kensuke. Oh, these two are consoling each other about the death. She's out of the house! Look at her, she's just roaming around. Melody! The best Void Critter. I got in a fight with someone at school about which Void Critter is more powerful. I said it was the Articorn, but he kept saying Sweet Swintor. Which one is it? We could say the Articorn, of course, or both are equally powerful. I don't think Cassidy really knows anything about it, so she'll just be like, uh, both, both are good. And so not the drama. Sakura sees between the petty quarrels of those around her and should be... Oh, good! She's a true mediator! That's great! Oh, everybody is calling now just to make sure that we're doing okay. I'm gonna actually send her... I believe I made a lot for the sake of, like, if any sims died. Since Kensuke... I knew it was like his death was coming. I made a lot in New Crest for uh, for any deaths over here. I'm gonna have to change the name to like graveyard or something. This place is where we're going to. Or this is where we're going to put uh, Kensuke's grave. It's a snowy day. It's very sad. And here, we're going to put Kensuke's grave. Rest in pieces, gone but not forgotten. Enter some keywords to remember Kensuke by. I know it's generic, but might as well. Let's go ahead and mourn Kensuke. This really is emotional. I, I am really going to miss him. You're gonna call a friend because you're sad, too. I'm gonna send you home now. There's really not much we can do. And we have bills, too. Come on. Our husband just died. Really? Okay, fine. We'll pay off our bills. But we're miserable about it. Hack attack? We found Rowan trying to hack into the school's computers today. We're not sure what her plan was, but we stopped her before she had a chance to do anything. Um, 
This is some serious stuff. Please punish her or a warning should suffice. I think sh she's not in a good mood. I think she'll just say this this that's pretty serious. She should know better. Or maybe 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 she's acting out because she's emotional. So a warning should suffice. Look, she's look, she's just lost her father. She she's in an emotional state. Just give her a warning. She won't do it again. Rowan is usually better about that kind of thing, but you know. Caleb, what the heck? This is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but you have a no. Caleb Vitor, we're let's just be friends. She no, she's gonna ghost him because she's just lost her husband. Does that mean you don't want to hang out with me? Yeah, sh dude, we don't we don't want anything to do with you right now. Where is Caleb? He still has the crush, but oh my gosh. Oh, Rowan's home. And somebody's asking her if they should try for baby. Decide for yourself. I didn't even see who it was. Literally, stop asking stop asking teenagers and children whether you guys should try for a baby. And Sakura's home. She only has one day till she ages up. Oh my gosh, who is this? Emily Caliente. We're we're not we're not inviting in some random teenager. Oh, Rowan's off to go and chat with that person who showed up at our house. Wait, is he in our house? No, Cassidy's chatting with him. I don't think he's actually here. I think he's gone. Yeah. Rowan is going through a mean through a phase. She's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like being a more nasty with other sims. Oh boy, Rowan. Yeah, she that makes sense though. She's She's in an emotional state right now. I kind of feel like she's not necessarily emotionally in the place to be our second gen heir. But, like, this, despite her traits and everything, I don't think she's really, like, up for being the heir. She seems to, like, she just seems to, like, not want anything to do with, like, school. She doesn't want anything to do with, like, getting along with others. And she's got that mean streak. It's time to be mean just because the sim is feeling nasty and will rush the chance to be mean to other sims. Somebody's playing a sad violin somewhere. Caleb! Why is Caleb here? After what happened, just go away. Is cat waking us up again? Lecture about waking people up. Don't wake people up. Today's Sakura's birthday though. So, oh come on, really? Rowan's class is going on a field trip to the Sim River Conservation. Okay, so uh, Rowan's going on a field trip. It's time for Rowan to go on her field trip. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, celebrate Sakura's birthday. Yeah, we're gonna make a cake for her. <gasps> Rowan forgot her homework. Oh, but she's at a field trip, so it doesn't really matter. Kiss and tell. Sakura spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. She didn't catch anybody, but other students were running away. Too young for kissing or just kids being kids? I think she's a little young. She's a little young for that. Sakura needs to get back in touch with her, mo her emotional control or she'll be less prepared to deal with emotions coming into adulthood. Fair, but, you know, we're gonna go ahead and make a cake for her. Okay, let's go ahead and put some birthday candles on top of the cake. And once Rowan comes home, we'll have her- not Rowan, Sakura. Once Sakura comes home, we'll have her take care of that. I'm gonna have her make friends while she's at school. She's already an A student. She- she- she can take the time to just kind of hang out with other people. Should Sakura invite her classmate Jaden? Sure, this could be part of your party. Is that Jaden? Yes it is. Jaden Charm. Or actually, form a group with the everybody. And I want you guys to all come and sit together. Now that everybody's here. <sighs> Sakura, it's time for you to make a wish and blow out the candles. Because it is your birthday. Let's go. All right. And now she's gonna age up. 
Sakura aged up, teenage them, romantic travail, sweaty gym shorts, and hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle those boots. The ride starts here. All right, and for next generation, we can't do family oriented. I don't believe. Well, she's a teenager. What is like a good substitute? I think for family oriented. Until we can like replace whatever trait we choose. I'll go with nurturing, I think. Nurturing seems like a good substitute in the meantime. And I'm gonna put down um, another family aspiration. Uh, we'll go with super parents. They, they both have a parents based one. And I have to. Oh my gosh, Kensuke's ghost just sent us a gift. Older and wiser. I'm gonna go ahead and edit her and create a sim too, so give me a second. Alright, so I've given Sakura her makeover and she is stunning. Uh, this is her everyday outfit. Uh, got her formal, her athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And honestly, she's just a gorgeous sim. But yeah, I think now that I've, um, now that we've gone through uh, Kensuke's death and Sakura becoming a teenager, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. I know it's a bit of a longer one, probably. I know I've been recording longer than I have of the past couple of episodes. But either way, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And, um,. If you guys enjoyed, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if you aren't already subscribed but you want to see more of this series, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the future. Stay safe out there, everybody.